here for the Dukes. And then it's Jiggets and Okafor down low for the College of Charleston. Christy Hewitt, Michaela Hopkins, Jackie Luna Castro in the front court, Aaron Hall and Bree Bold in the back court as James Madison controls the opening tip. We are underway here at TD Arena. Great job by Christy Hewitt right there. Anticipated it, got the steal. And the Cougars now setting up their offense. It's going to be Clay Brown running the point. And this is one of the keys for the College of Charleston. You saw the turnover down low. They're going to have to get a lot of those today uh, if they hope to contend with this James Madison squad. Absolutely, and they're going to have to make sure that they limit their turnovers as well. They've gone up and down with turnovers at the beginning of the season. They had quite a few. Uh, they've gotten a lot better. You can tell it's something Coach Jackson has definitely worked with the squad on. One possession for each squad right now. No points for either. And now James Madison looking to push the tempo up court. Talking with their SID, it's not necessarily an up-tempo team, but they want to make you play at their pace. Absolutely. And whoever controls the pace of the game is going to be the ones you always want to make sure you have control of the pace of the game. We're going to see a lot of running up and down. A nice thing that I think the Cougars are doing now is they're running a press uh, all the time. It's very effective for them. They get a ton of steals. It's why Bree Bolden has so many steals uh, each game. So I think it's very effective for the Cougars. Christy Hewitt picks up the foul for the Cougars. And now it's Okafor at the line for a couple, misses the front end. James Madison a pretty solid free throw shooting team for the most part. 70% coming into today's contest. And Okafor, 62%. And the ball is going to go back to James Madison. As we can see, the Cougars setting up the press right here. What you have to do when you have a press is just look to the opposite guard and get the ball up the floor as fast as you can. That's a great job by Mickens. Three-pointer from the outside. Nothing doing. Back to CFC. And it looked like Okafor really tried to get a hand on that one and unfortunately just went right out of bounds. Minute 15 into this contest, still no score, but the Cougars with a chance to strike first here. It'll be Aaron Hall from the perimeter, just misses. Long rebound, knocked out of bounds. That was a nice job by Hall. She really tripped up the defender there, had a wide open look, unfortunately just couldn't get it. This is something the Cougars can't afford though coming into today's contest is to go away with wasted possessions. Absolutely, they're gonna have to find a way to score each and every time. It's gonna have to be a back and forth game and right now they have the opportunity to get a little bit ahead. Rebound back to the Cougars. A great constructed play there by the Dukes. They had two wide open forwards right down low and a great defensive defense by College of Charleston. They'll try to work it inside to Luna Castro, her shot in and out. And now it's back to the Dukes. They're looking to push it up court. That's something you don't see from Luna Castro often. She has a very, very nice finishing touch on her shots. Jiggett shot off. Rebound to Okafor, and she gets the putback. Dukes on the board first. A nice job by Okafor there, really going up for that rebound. Offensive rebounds are going to be key in this matchup as well. Give your team second, even third opportunities. And James Madison has been an awesome team this season, rebounding the ball, out-rebounding opponents by 11.2 rebounds per game. That actually leads the CAA. Three for one on the way, got it. And that's <laughs> just right there if you look. That was a perfect setup by Hall. You can see why she's the leading scorer for the Dukes. The College of Charleston's going to have to put a little bit more pressure uh, with her out there from beyond the arc. Third in the nation and three pointers made per game. And Kelly, the Cougars have a monumental task ahead of them to contain her today. <laughs> Absolutely. And like I said, there was a little bit sagging defense on her on that last possession. And it looks like. It'll be Guafmi picking up the foul for James Madison. Now the Cougars with a chance to go to the line and put their first, po first points on the board. A great job we just saw in the replay there by Bree Bolden. Bolden, the sophomore out of Edgewater, Maryland. Averaging 14.6 points per game in conference play. That leads the Cougars. Very interesting. We started off this game with a couple free throws and no one has made any yet. 
CFC, not the best free throw shooting team, just making 65% this season. But she does get the back end, and the Cougars finally on the board here with 17 minutes to go in the first half. That's a foul that you hate to see right there by Aaron Hall. You know, Mickens is doing a great job of breaking the press and just taking the ball on her own. She doesn't even have to pass it up the floor. And when you have an aggressive guard like that, you really don't want to be reaching in. And it'll be Perez checking in now for Jasmine Guathney. Ashley Perez, the junior out of Manchester, Connecticut, the transfer out of St. John's. They'll work the ball around. It's Mickens who runs the point, and she really runs the show for this James Madison squad. Great steal right there by Bree Bolden. Anticipated. Take another look at this charge right here. As you can see, Mickens just gets there, but I think there was a little bit of a shuffle of the feet. I don't think she was quite set there. But that's been Mickens' cup of tea this season. She has taken a charge in all but one game thus far for the Lady Dukes. So it'll be Precious Hall going to the line for a pair. James Madison up 5-1 here in the early going from TD Arena. Precious Hall is an 84% free throw shooter. Not surprising. Couple substitutions here, one for the College of Charleston, another for James Madison. It'll be Brianna Davis Bloom coming in. And then Delicia Griffin for the Lady Dukes. Hall makes both and it's a six point margin. Looks like the Dukes are setting a press back. Cougars now looking to set up their offense here. Brown gets it outside to Davis Bloom. Nothing doing though, and the College of Charleston having a tough time here getting a shot off. Five seconds left on the shot clock. The Cougars really swinging the ball around looking for Luna Castro on the inside. Great. And they find Luna Castro, she's up and in. That's a beautiful move by Luna Castro right there. She did a great job of getting around all three defenders in the paint. And that's something the College of Charleston is going to have to rely on heavily is getting the ball inside to Luna Castro. Not the best outside shooting team, just 25% from three-point arc. 